Um, when I walked down to the beach this morning, I thought there is no way they're going to send us out there. Um, it was just crazy. I've never swum in anything like it. I was getting air off those waves on the way out. You couldn't get any rhythm if you're a swimmer. There's just nothing. You know, a lot of the waves out there, you got a lot of air, so you're swimming in the air, which was quite interesting. It was quite, I was finding it fun actually at one point. I thought, just get me back to the beach and I'm just going to run the rest. <laughs> Yeah, it's, pretty, it's a shame that, you know, Bella had a mechanical at the beginning, so, you know, you kind of feel, feel bad for that, but, you know, you still got to get on with your own race. Like, my coach, Grant Giles, just said to me, just, just believe and believe in your body and don't let your mind kind of come into it. And so every time my mind, like, I'd be like, shut up, I'm like, you know, go away. And just, just felt it. And then I was leading the race and I'm like, I don't remember the last time I led a race. Like, this is awesome, let's go. <laughs> I actually thought Lisa was in the lead. Um, so, but I knew somebody was with her. So when I passed Lisa, she was all on her own. So I didn't know what was what was going on. And then I saw Christy, she was, she was actually riding really well. So I stuck with her for a bit. And then at one point, there's a bit of a tail and she just took off on me, so. I've been sick the last two weeks, so I didn't know how I was going to go on the run. So I was just like, no, just keep pushing the bike and, and try and get a lead and take it easy on the run. I mean, Mel was ahead and I don't know how far she was ahead, but I didn't really care. I, I honestly didn't care. Yeah, I, I ran pretty hard the first two laps um, and then well, I didn't really take my foot off. My, my legs fell off. Um, <laughs> it was, I kept on the run, I kept going, you're in, you're in second, you're in second. Stop it, just keep running, like stop thinking about where you are. So yeah, I was just in a bit of survival mode. I actually got passed by an age group girl at one stage on the on the third lap. So I was like, no, I, I can't do that. Pick it up, like pull yourself together. So I passed her again. <laughs> the, the run course was actually really enjoyable, even though we copped a bit of rain, wind and mud. It was actually really, really good. So um, as I said, it's the total opposite of anything I want. I like heat and humidity and, um, you know, it was freezing cold, it was windy, it was raining and a really choppy swim. So, um, yeah, just really glad to pull off a win in conditions like that. But when I actually accepted that I've just finished second and, I mean, the money, the money doesn't really come into it, but it does because it, I'm coming back and, yeah, it means a lot right now. So overwhelming yeah really overwhelming so pretty happy with um, my goal for this race was to podium um, in terms of my headspace I was really happy where I was as well so yeah you know it's just moving forwards from here and getting better so somebody turn on the heaters for behind Man Melbourne I don't think I could do that twice that was crazy <laughs>